Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play The Lift of Heroes, Trail of the Sky of the Third. Today, I'm actually on floor two, um, down in the Grand Cell Castle basement. And the reason for this is I'm doing a little tiny bit of farming, um, mostly against these little slime blob guys here. And whenever they die, they do this little strength up thing, but they're nothing too major to concern yourself about. Basically, you really just want to kill them as quickly as humanly possible. And if you can get some Sepith up um, bonuses with that, that'd be great too. But also use Josette as support because as you can see, look at all that Sepith that we get for killing them. It's insane. So yeah, you get tons of time, space, mirage Sepith. All the Sepith that you kind of are lacking in, you also get some attack foods as well. Um, let's see, let's look at that attack food, where it is. Okay, the freezing meatballs, yeah, it deals 200 and, or, I'm sorry, 2,550 damage in a line. Uh, the bloody meatballs, 3,150 damage in a line as well. I mean, like, it's just insane. You get the queenly cookies, 1,750 damage, um, that hits an area, and I've been doing this for quite some time, so you can look at my Sepith totals in the right-hand corner. Yeah, I got a lot. So at this point, if you want to buy Action 4s and other, you know, various Sepiths, or open up everybody's corpses, you can. Basically, this is where I am. I'm, again, in the cellar on level 2. If you just warp, it's like, literally, it's right here. You warp over to this little monument, go through this left-hand door inside the kitchen, head on down here, fight these little phantom guys, and they'll pop up, I would say, one in every five battles, those slime lumps will pop up. Just kill them real fast, and yeah, that's it. So let's get off the second plane, because I've done everything that I want to do here, and let's head on back to St. Croix Forest, because we have stuff to do there. We have stuff to take care of. We have people to unseal, people to rescue. Let's see, where am I? Okay, so I want to head on down. Yeah, I'm kind of confused as to where I am. But first things first, head on over here. Ooh! Some daggers for Joshua. Speed one. <laughs> that's funny. I never do speed runs. But yeah, that's uh, kind of funny though. Ooh, yeah. Very, very nice. Okay, so go ahead and give that to him. And let's head on down here and uh, see what we have going on. What kind of boss we have to fight. Or bosses. That works too. Whoa, Sherazard. Holy crap. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I was thinking it was going to be Estelle. Oh, yeah, Braces on training. Okay. Yeah, hopefully. She was really good. Oh, hopefully. So, let's see what we got going on here. Uh, we have these birdmen who can blind you. So, if you want, if you're on the hard difficulty level, put, you know, have some blind protection or something. And Sherazard herself, she doesn't have a whole lot of HP, so we can pretty much take her down pretty quickly. But let's go ahead. Oh, we can't use that. That sucks. Can we use the Supreme Dual Strike? Get some nice damage on her? Well, not on her, but we can soon enough. Ooh, get some poison on him, too. Yeah, Sherazard is also susceptible to poison as well, so that can come in pretty handy. Can that work? Really? Okay, so let's get you a little bit closer, too. Maybe have you uh, go ahead and uh, attack her as well, because I'd love to get rid of her before she can use her S-Craft. That would just be great. Uh, maybe Hangel? Ooh, hey, hey, awesome. Not that it's going to hit the Birdman or anything, but it's something. And I really have Chloe here so that she can use uh, Titanic Roar on all of these guys. It will make things so much easier, so much nicer. Oh, great. They're blinding us. Yeah. So, blind protection could come in pretty handy. But another reason for having Chloe is we're just going to decimate these guys with arts anyway. Because, you know, and that doesn't really matter as far as, um, you know, blindness is concerned. So, hey, look at that damage, 5,000 damage, just about everybody. Okay, oh, and killing that guy too. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to be missing with all this stuff. Oh, this sucks. Um, yeah, you can, okay, so yeah, go ahead and cure yourself, um, that'll be fine. You are not blinded, I don't think, so you go after Sherazard, awesome. Uh, hey, yeah, tons of damage from Joshua. Josh was like a boss destroyer. You can go ahead and cure yourself as well, even though the probably going to get blinded again. 
Not that it really matters. I mean, Chloe's gonna deal with these chickens anyway. But, oh, hey, yeah, awesome. Didn't get blinded. Oh, sweet. Wow, I was really unlucky on the first round, but not so much on the uh, second. Hey, awesome. Okay, so I'm not even going to worry about the blindings anymore since those chickens went. They didn't really do anything to me. I'm going to have the boys focus on Sherizard and Chloe focus on killing the little chickens here. There we go. Uh, let's see. We'll have you use... Hmm. Oh, Confuse. Oh, we could try it. Why not? Give it a shot against her. We'll see if Confuse hits. I mean, Poison hit. Maybe Confuse will, too. Um, can't be that lucky. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so keep on using your dual strike. Nice! Oh, great. Turn to a Grimoire. And let's see, who has the most HP out of you guys? Uh, I guess you. Whatever. It doesn't really matter at this point, since Chloe's just going to annihilate them with this Earthquake. Hey! So yeah, that's the easiest way that I've found to take out this um, boss, because those chickens can be a pain in the ass, especially with the blindness. And if you don't want to purchase, you know, anti-blind accessories, like I really didn't want to, then just have a really powerful arts user and just blast the ever-loving crap out of them. Okay, yeah, awesome. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no kidding. Really, really will. Are there any treasures around here? Doesn't look like there is. I just want to double check to be sure. I don't see any in my mini map either. So, yeah, let's head on back to the Hermit's Garden. I hope it's Estelle. I wonder if one of these days, if the game's gonna kind of like play a trick on you, if you know what I mean, and not give you the character that you actually end up fighting. Be kind of a dirty trick, though, I've gotta say. It was also kind of interesting that Shara didn't open with her S-Craft. All the other ones have been opening with their S-Crafts, but Shara didn't. She opened by using some arts. We never really got to see what art she was using, but something tells us about the wind arts. Oh, Grimsel Fortress. Huh. Oh, Reese isn't up here to even look and see? She's that pissed? Oh, it's not Shara? Seriously? Oh, wait, that's... wait, huh? That totally is Shara, but she looks a little bit different. Oh, she cut her hair. That's what it is. Oh. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah, she used to have really long hair, but it's very short. Yeah, no kidding. It almost looks like those bowl cuts that were really popular in the 90s, except that she has the very long... What are those, the sideburns? I don't know what they call them on women. I know on men it would be sideburns. Wow, she's still drinking. Do you do anything else besides drink? Like, come on, girl, get it together. Oh, um, we're not entirely sure, but maybe she's off at Grimsel Fortress? Who knows? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Joshua always looks good. Aw, poor Oliver. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we're all familiar, pretty much. Well, except for Reese, but Reese isn't here. Yeah, maybe we'll have a black screen to explain? That could work. Oh, yeah, pretty much. Oh, hey, we do get a black screen to explain. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, you're here and you see it with your own eyes. Oh. Well, no, not Luciola. She's kind of gone. <laughs> I love Oliver. Uh, I wish he was more like this in the Cold Steel games, but he's much more, you know, down to business in Cold Steel. He's more like princely, you know, my my my, uh, my kingdom's in danger, you know, uh, get it done, nose to the grindstone, that sort of thing. But in this game, he's just having fun, you know? I like it. It would be great if Oliver joins you in Cold Steel 3. That would be really, really cool. I would love that. I wonder if Reen's sister would join you in Cold Steel 2 as well. That'd be really cool. I mean, I know that she joined you for a little bit 
in Cold Steel 2, but Cold Steel 3, if she joined as like a main party member, I haven't really seen her in the um, promotional, you know, screenshots or artwork or whatever, but that would be kind of cool. She wasn't a bad party member for like the five seconds that you actually got to use her. Pretty good caster. She used swords too. She was kind of similar to Chloe. She used swords and caster and all that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you kind of missed, you know, half of the game already, Charizard. Oh, yeah, like, um, Estelle, maybe? Hopefully? Please? Oh, that's true. Kirk Grant and Karna, but they're kind of like throwaway bracers who you really don't care about, and I already kind of forgot their names, so. <laughs> I don't know if we'll really be seeing them there, but, you know, we're getting tons of characters in this game, so maybe. I mean, I wouldn't you know, I would besmirch them for having them. I would, I would like it, but I don't think it's really plausible. Oh, really? Huh. Oh. Yeah. Wow, maybe we could get Agate. Yeah, it is possible. Maybe we'll find Estelle and Agate and we'll get both of their ceiling stones. That'd be kind of cool. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, sounds like a plan, but guess what? We're not going to go there today. We're actually going to go ahead and put Sherizard into our party because we have a door that we can do with her. It's a pretty early door. It's a moon door, so that means, you know, lots of storyline. A really long one. And we just got done with Chloe's moon door, too, but eh, whatever. It's a cute little story. Dancer with silver locks. Okay. Well, I kind of brought her here, so yeah. Here she is. At first, I thought that I wouldn't like these longer doors, you know, because they just are very long. But the stories are really well done and relatable, and it's like the characters that they introduce, they're fun. And it actually, you know, gives you a chance to explore around town and talk to NPCs which you really can't do in the main game, so... Yeah, I like it. I think it's a nice change of pace. And honestly, the, the game would be a lot worse without these doors, you know? It really would just be dungeon to dungeon to dungeon to dungeon. It would just be never-ending. The year 1202? That's during first chapter. Oh! Wait! <laughs> I think I kind of recall this. They were having a drinking contest, Ina, Sherizard, and uh, Oliver here. Oh. Oh, yeah. I don't know how old Sherizard is. I'm gonna guess probably, I don't know, 30, I would guess? I don't know. That's probably ancient JRPG terms, though. Poor Oliver! <laughs> oh, wow, um... You know, let the poor guy breathe. You don't have to drink it, Oliver. A bottle? Holy crap! <laughs> poor guy. You know, if you get that bad, you need some water. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. It looks like the girls are really setting Oliver up for this. Maybe they secretly like him, they just want to, you know, get him drunk and have their way with him. Oh, yeah. Both? I don't think that you should mix wine and liquor. That's just me, though. Especially red wine, like a fruit wine? And then hard liquor, like a brandy? Mm, that's just asking for trouble. Oh, yeah. Duh, it's always booze with these three. Do they ever talk about anything else? Wait, onto his head. Yeah, um, wow. You're really drunk, Shara. <laughs> Aww. Poor Oliver. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, five years ago. Huh. Well, eight years before... What was it, first chapter? She left the circus, so five years, or I guess it would be three years after that, it would be five years ago, she would still be a bracer. 
huh. I like her hair here. I'm not really a fan of her shorter haircut, to be quite honest with you. Oh, wow. What's going on at Herbal Villa? Huh. So, yeah, I guess she's doing her bracer work here. Uh, yeah, always. Oh, well, thanks. Oh, what, a fisherman's guild? No, that's okay. Yeah, that sounds like some really smelly work, if you ask me. Wait, is, is that Ina? Her hair looks like it, but her clothes... Oh, it totally is. Huh, so this must be whenever Ina first came to the guild. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, well, great. Oh, well that's no good. Huh. I wonder who's running the desk now, if Ina isn't going to run the desk. It looks empty, nobody's there. Maybe Sherazard's supposed to be doing it, but she's, you know, too busy running off to the herbal villa instead. Oh, okay. Well, that works, I guess. Well, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna write down your request, or maybe here for a job interview? She doesn't really look like she knows what she's doing or where she's going. I wonder what exactly she's here for. I'm gonna guess a job interview. Oh. Wow, did you already make it all the way back from Herboyal Villa? Man, you're pretty fast. I don't know why she's here. Oh, okay, so she is. Oh, she was a junior bracer. I guess everybody has to start, you know, somewhere. It's cute. <laughs> oh, well, good to see you too. Yeah, she's kind of busy. Oh, oh, wow, yeah, no kidding. And for Grand Cell, too. I mean, Grand Cell's the capital. You would think that they would, uh, have a lot more bracers here than just two. Oh, yeah, um, spit it out, lady. Let's go. Oh, okay, a tour of the city. Hmm. Huh. Is that what you really go to a bracer for, though? Well, I guess they do all sorts of odd jobs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, Sherizard, way to be a bitch. And you're still a junior bracer and you're gonna talk to your customers that way? Seriously? Although, I kinda get where Sherizard's coming from. Like, she has shit to do. She has monsters to kill and stuff. Like, she can't sit around and just give people tours. I mean, I would imagine that there would be a separate sightseeing group. This is the capital city, for God's sakes. There should be some sort of city bus or something to take people around. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Oh! Well, it's kind of a hard way to get your letter of recommendation if you're talking to your customers like this. I mean, what if she launches a complaint against you? Oh. You're bloodily persistent! Oh! Hey, Kurt. How are you doing? Oh. Yeah. Well, he seems much more polite than Sherizard. And Sher is like, screw this bitch, I'm gonna get other jobs, I'm not even gonna look at her. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! She's harsh. Wow. Yeah, uh, sorry to bother you. See ya. Oh, why? What do you mean? What is he gonna be like, hey, how much you gonna pay? And what's going on? Really? Well, she's really kind of busy, you know? What if there's, like, monsters attacking people out on the road or something? Seriously. No kidding. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay, so yeah, he's made in the front desk. Oh. Oh! Really? 
All she has to do is give this girl a tour of the town, she gets her letter of recommendation. She doesn't have to go out and, like, kill Ouroboros with some huge boss or anything, seriously? How easy! I wish it was that easy for Joshua and Estelle in first chapter! Man, it took forever! Oh. Yeah, thanks. Wow, he seems like a much nicer guy. If I was Ina, I'd be like, uh, Kurt, could you give me the tour? And let Sherazar do something else? Because I wouldn't want someone like Sherazar to give me the tour. I mean, she's being such a bitch. Oh. Huh, yeah, maybe make her nicer or something? Oh, uh, who knows. Did any of you guys ever watch that show Silver Spoons in the 80s? I thought it was like the most... I don't know. It was... it was okay. It wasn't anything great. But, eh, it was decent. Who knows? Yeah. Really, Sherazard? It's just the way that she was raised. You can't blame her for it. Yeah, where do you want to go? Ooh, shopping! Wow, girl after my own heart. I'm all about it. Oh, okay. Wow, why are you so angry? Seriously. But anyway, we're gonna go shopping! Next time, let's play the Lindy Heroes Trails of the Sky the Third. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.